Oh. Oh. What's that? It's in the plug. Oh. What is that? I'm at one of my farm permissions. Um, I was told by a friend who is a longtime detectorist that he detected this property back in the 90s and didn't find anything but iron. So I'm going to give it a shot and just see for myself if there's anything other than iron. So I'll get back to you on the first hole. I'm going to try something. There's a little bit of wind up on this rise. So I brought a cotton ball and tape and I put a cotton ball, I taped it to the outside of my phone where the microphone is. So we'll see if that takes care of the wind noise. So I will get back to you if I find anything. Well, I got my first signal. It was in the mid to low 80s, and I pulled out this giant chain. Looks like it's been repaired a few times or something. I don't know. It's got a bunch of bolts on it. So, turn around. See all them bolts? It almost looked like it was repaired multiple times. So, on to the next. Okay, I'm beginning to think the cold is affecting my machine. Because I'll hit an area and it'll go all of a sudden, no signals at all. And then I shut my machine off. I uh, shut it off. And I'll turn it back on. It still says nothing here. And then if you give it a few couple minutes, all of a sudden it'll start going nuts again. This place... This area was like peppered with signals. And now it's not ha showing any. And I'm not sure if there's something wrong with my machine, my machine or the the cold is getting to the machine or And now there's not a single signal at all. That's weird. Let me bump up my sensitivity. nothing. That's weird. See if I can get it to do it again somewhere else. Because there's a lot of pockets like that on this hill. I really think the cold is getting to my machine. I'm sure it's not picking that up. Chain up. I'll get a signal, it'll beep a couple of times, and then it disappears. Nothing. Oh, frustrating. Come on, son, you warm us up here.
Now see, just like when you go to the mechanic and you say, my car is making this noise, they take it for a test drive, and it won't do it. Just like that. Fifty-eight, thirty-one, thirty-nine, eight plus inches deep. Six inches. Okay, I'll get back to you once I get it opened up. Well, it fooled my machine. Giant piece of iron. Round. Not sure what that is. Giant weird washer. Or something. On to the next. I just can't turn my phone on fast enough to have it when it goes nuts. This looks like a teeny little depression right here. I don't know. It was going nuts. It's only 10 to 15. And it's only 2 to 4. Whoop. That's just weird. Up to a 79. That's 79. Now it's going nuts again. Well, see what I mean? Okay, we're going to dig it. I don't know what it is. This is weird. I'll get back to you. Got fooled twice in the same hall. Two round iron things. A giant nut. And I don't know what that is. Coupling or something. On to the next. Okay. Whoo! It's 31 degrees, not including the wind chill. My nose is froze. I got a 79 to 83 signal here on the hill. So, let's see if I can find it. Okay. Oh, oh, what's that? It's in the plug. Oh. What is that? Oh my god, it's a piece of jewelry. Oh my god, look at that. Let me get in the sun. See if that helps. Oh my god, look at that. It's an earring. It's an earring. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can. Clean it off one handed here. Look at that. It almost looks like amber and amber stone in it. Wow. I don't know if that's silver or not. Eh, it might be a newer one. It might be a newer one because of the style of the earring, but hey, cool find. See if I can focus in there. So, I'm not sure. I've never seen an old earring to know what style, you know, what age this might be, but I will clean it up for the wrap up and we'll take a better look at it. On to the next. Well, I got an hour and a half before I have to be to work. I still got to drive home yet. So, 
I think I'm going to name this Tractor Graveyard. Or Tractor Park Graveyard. Well, I'm real happy with how my short hunt turned out. I was only out there maybe an hour and a half. And yes, I dug a lot of iron. But I found silver. Um... I talked to a girlfriend of mine who is a retired jeweler who now has an antique shop and sells antique jewelry. And I took it over to her and she said, absolutely, this is antique silver. And she agreed with me. She thinks that it is an amber stone. And she goes, good job. How did you know it was amber? Well, I have some amber jewelry that was my great aunt's. Um, it's hard to see. It, it's a deep honey color stone. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But it shows up red in the videos, even in the sunlight, but it's not red. It's like a deep honey amber. Um, she wasn't sure if it was Baltic amber or not, but she said, um, what makes you think that this could be 1900s? And I said, well, I don't know. How long have women been piercing their ears? And she goes, honey, Annie Oakley had pierced ears. Women have been piercing their ears since before the Civil War. So I asked her if she could give me a, an approximate age on it. And she said it was anywhere from 1860 to 1900. You know, without doing any testing on it. But uh, on the back side, you can't see it except with a jeweler's loop. But on the back side, it says 925, but it's very, very faint. Let's see if I can... I don't know if this will pick it up or not. But that's the back side of it. But she said it's definitely very old. So I'm glad I went with my gut instinct to not take people's word for the fact that they thought the site was a waste of time. Um, yeah, there is a lot of iron there, but hey, I found silver in amongst the iron. And I was there for maybe an hour and a half, and it was worth it just to find this earring because the maps that are available online and locally don't show a house at this site. I drove last summer to the Capitol and went to the Michigan Library, the State Library, and looked at the maps they had, which were older, and it shows a house in 1860 on this site. So... Maybe this belonged to the homeowner's wife or daughter. Who knows? But it's a personal item. I love finding jewelry. I mean, it's this was probably very special to whoever lost it, and they were probably sick when they lost the earring. So, but it just goes to show you. It doesn't matter if it was hunted back in the 90s or the 80s or the 70s. You know, every detectorist hunts differently. Every machine is different. Um, I'm glad I had to see for myself. So I will definitely be back there because there's definitely an old, old homestead there. Um, Michigan's homesteads don't go back very far, not like in New England, but still. I mean, some of our homesteads date back to 1835 in our township. So... I will definitely be back in the spring. So, thank you for watching. And as always, happy hunting, be patient, and never give up. Till next week.
This week's shout out goes to 92 Finder, Sebastian's channel. He's a metal detectorist and he does bottle digging in Canada. Be sure to tell him that Digging with Deej sent you. Please help me grow my channel. Like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends.